Hi guys, uh, today's find a fracture is going to be about delamination. Now, we don't often come across it and it's often misdiagnosed more than, than what it is actually. Today I have a bike, it happens to be a Scott foil and it was sent in for top tube repair after it was inspected and we couldn't see anything on the top tube and I wondered whether it was misdiagnosed but until I had actually tested it that I realized this had been, been damaged and there was no indication in the paint work that there was uh, a problem. So I thought it would be a good one to, to show you here today. So let's have a look. Now, you can see from the inspection where the extension of the arrows go from that line to that line. Now, if we hold it into the light, you will see there's absolutely no trace other than a little bit of scuffing that there's anything wrong with that top tube. But if you press it, and I'll try and do this with one camera in my hand to show you how soft this top is. Can you see? Okay, you can see in here there is a mole join line. It's very faint. Mold carbons are joined in the two halves of the mold, um, but the outer skin, not necessarily the inside of the mold. But this is obviously a weak point. And you can see as I press down with my finger, can you see where that line appears? That is an indication that someone has landed on the top of this. So imagine he's riding and fell down onto the top tube and uh, probably heard a cracking sound most likely climbed with the bike and didn't see anything wrong with it but was uh, clever enough to bring it into us to have it checked out just in case there was an issue and indeed there is a big problem here this is a severe delamination now what happens is that the internal layers of the carbon uh, were bending inward and have popped off popped the layers have come away from each other so leaving the outer skin, which is now more flexible than ever, to be able to flex along with the paint. Now, in many cases, you can get crack lines in your top tube, so it's not always the case that you won't get any fracturing of the paintwork or the lacquer. But in this particular case, what was harder for us to find was that there was no mark on the top tube at all. It just took some diligence to find that if you compressed it in these areas, it was nice and firm, and then you get here, you can see my hand starting to to really bulge here particularly, there you can see it. Um, and then go stiff again. So we've deduced from this point to this point, we're gonna to have to remove the carbon and, and then replace the carbon. Uh, it's quite a big job, but clearly the client likes the spike and would like it back the way it was before. Not necessarily something you can see, just feel your top tube if it feels incredibly soft or leaves a line in the surface means that it's probably broken along that mold. Hope that helps. This is almost ready. We've gone right down to the base layer, so now we can get an exaggerated movement out of this. Our job today is to solidify this area, to lock down this top tube again, uh, and then profile it back down again. It's a long repair. This area here is a little bit further out than where the inspection resolved it, but that's, no that's quite normal because when you grind out, you get to see a lot more than what the inspectors do without doing any structural destructive damage to check. Make sure that we've, we've caught all the delamination that there is in this tube, so happy days. We're back now with the Scott uh, completed. Huge delamination. Uh, repair went right across from there to there. As you can see, it's now absolutely rock solid, which is the way we want it. So this one will go to paint and uh, yeah, please saved another really nice bike. Um, so remember to like us and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and remember we always look forward to your comments and uh, we hope to see you in the next video thank you